If it wasn't for St. Joseph's, I could be outside there, but I think I'll, I'll, I'll be not in the high level that I am at this stage. I'll be at another low level. Things would be just difficult for me. St. Joseph's was established in 1935 by the Palatine Missionary Sisters in response to the poverty experienced by a certain community in Philippi, which is down the road from us. The nuns, particularly ahead of their time in terms of creating a holistic model of care, and that's what we use today. St. Joseph's focuses on the child and not the illness. We take care of children who have been diagnosed with life-threatening illnesses such as cancer, HIV, diabetes, TB and TB meningitis and a number of other life-threatening illnesses. We're a non-profit medical facility and we offer our services to children from impoverished communities and the holistic care model includes services such as 24-hour nursing care, access to medical care, um, physiotherapy, occupational therapy. The children also have an advantage of continuing the education by going to a school on our premises. Our little ones go to a crèche in the mornings and so we try and create as little disruption as possible for children who are ill um, within the home so once they discharge they're able to continue their lives. We we all have life-threatening illnesses, but we believe that it's for a reason for us to be in this place. My impression was that it was a phenomenal place where the children were loved and cared for. They were dependent upon donors for a large part to make things happen, but there was also so many people who come from overseas and locally who gave of their time and whatever they could to actually help the home be more and do more for these children. Man Diesel Turbo have been incredible in that we recently started a um, football team for our boys just to keep them out of mischief but also to keep them active as part of a healthy lifestyle. You know we never, we never had really anything to play so we had no gear, um, we had no field to really play on. I mean we had a little bit of steel structure that we made football poles with and that um, at that time, it was exciting for the first few games. Afterwards, it died out because we, we never really had anything to motivate them with. Man Diesel were fantastic in creating a football, a whole new football um, field for our boys. And, um, and much to our surprise, a football kit. And you can see how excited the boys are. I remember taking them into the physiotherapy department, not telling them what we have for them, just bringing them there and just to show them what we've got in the boxes for them and it was an entire, it, it was a out-of-body experience to see how excited these kids were. As a corporate company we have an, almost an obligation to give back to, to people and to provide uh, some sort of assistance. As I mentioned we have a funding gap and that funding gap is assisted by corporate organizations such as Man Diesel and without them we would not exist. You have companies that actually put aside so much time and so much effort um, like Man Diesel, I think it makes one big, big change in, in our world. It's not only the um, corporates that benefit, and it's not only us that benefit, but the individuals within the companies and the children benefit from getting to know um, the people who get involved. I'm very proud to be part of an organisation such as MAN, who afforded us the opportunity to choose which sort of charity we would help or, or things like that. I think the fact that we could involve our colleagues and friends and I'm sure a lot of us will be doing some volunteer work there. It's good to help others and for me that's a non-negotiable and I, I think that should be the way that it is for all corporates and all people.